Dr. Sound to talk about this, to discuss the steps that you should take before going under the knife is Dr. Stuart Lindner. Lindner. He's a board-certified plastic surgeon who's been practicing more than 20 years. He's also the author of this book here. It's called the Sh Beverly Hills Shape, The Truth of Plastic Surgery. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Linder, and keeping us safe. Well, thank you for having me today. It's a privilege to be here. So we do want to, let's just start with the basics. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't know why this is often overlooked, that you need to find a, a surgeon who's board certified. Is that that difficult to do? You know, you would think it wouldn't be that difficult to do, but my gosh, patients don't understand. There's a lot of problems because of what is board certified. Mm -hmm. There's board certified plastic surgeons and board certified cosmetic surgeons, so it can be very difficult for a consumer or a patient to understand the difference. And the difference is monstrumental. Mm -hmm. Okay. You must be a board certified plastic mm -hmm. surgeon. There are no substitutes. Okay. With the American Society of Plastic mm -hmm. Surgeons, period. So not the cosmetic. Well, That's what you're saying. I understand. I don't want to say anything negative about any other sure. societies, sure, but sure, sure. in the United States of America, the standard of care for having plastic surgery procedures, especially of the body, which mm -hmm. is what I am, a body sculptist from Beverly Hills, board certified plastic surgeon. Okay. Gotcha. You say make sure your procedure is accredited by the Joint Commission of hospitals, a federal agency. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah, well, that's that's the ambulatory facility. We're uh -huh. talking about the Miami story that was found in USA Today. It right. was a, a fantastic article. It was an investigation uh, in Miami. Not only does your, your doctor need to be a board-certified plastic surgeon, but the facility that you go to needs to be accredited as well. It mm -hmm. needs to be certified. And the, most, the highest standard of certification in the United States is Medicare, federal government, and JACO, Joint Commissions of Hospitals, our facility in Beverly Hills, our ambulatory center, not office, but our ambulatory facility, is both Medicare and JACO. Mm -hmm. And why that's critical is every three years, the federal government will recertify our facilities, just like Cedars or UCLA or any other hospital in California. So we have the same standard as UCLA or Cedars, which means it's the highest standard. Now, I was shocked, I was shocked to, to read that. Uh, you don't need to report deaths. A, a, a group does not need to report a death to the state health department. Yeah, I mean, it's fascinating. And that was in that Miami article in the USA Today that deaths were occurring from these clinics and they weren't reported. So the consumer, being the patient, has no idea that three women may have died two or three months earlier in that, in that clinic or wherever. So that is such a disservice to the patient. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a state regulation, and it may differ from state to state, but it's really, you know, again, you have to do your homework when you're considering plastic surgery. So break it down for us. For, for anyone that's out there that's looking to get any kind of procedure, even if they have the board of cert certification and, and, and such, you go into an office, what would be some key red flags, do you think, if they went into office and you think, wait a minute, I have some pause here, maybe I should look somewhere else? Well, before you even get into that office, you need to do your homework. You need mm -hmm. to do your research. You're not buying a purse on Rodeo Drive. You're having surgery on your body. Mm -hmm. So if something bad goes wrong, you may get maimed or you may die. Mm -hmm. So before you even enter the door of, the, of the, a surgeon's office, you need to check them out. Check them out with the medical board of the state. Check out their record, their disciplinary actions, and make sure that, again, board-certified plastic surgeon, member of the American Society of Plastic Surgery, um, and make sure that that doctor is a specialist on the surgery that you're mm -hmm. hoping to have done. I also, very important. Uh, also very important, uh, I didn't know this, about um, estrogen and if you're on a contraceptive. So it's let's... interesting. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. You know, the number one risk factor for patients who undergo any surgical procedure under general anesthesia, means you're put to sleep, is estrogen in the oral contraceptive birth control pill because it causes stasis. That means the blood doesn't come up through the veins which can cause a pulmonary embolus and death. And that was the leading cause of death, emboli, in those patients in Miami that had, had the BBL, that okay. they had, had massive emboli from the fat injection deeply. Uh, he is Dr. Lindner. Uh, the Beverly Hills Shape is his book, The Truth About Plastic Surgery. Thank you so much for that information. Do your Pleasure. homework. Yes, yes. Sir. yes, sir. Thank you. And read your book. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. We'll be right back with Tom Stories.